Hello there, it's Trisha, and uh, we're here in Los Angeles doing some more Ask Trisha Questions and Answers. And so thank you all for sending in your questions on Twitter and Facebook and TrishaHelper.com. Um, I haven't read through them all, so it's going to be a surprise uh, each, each time I read one. But uh, again, thank you all for sending them in, and let's get right to them. I'm an expat Canadian. What kind of expat Canadian are you? Some expats adopt their new home countries utterly, waving flags and rooting for the home team. Others become even more patriotic about their former home and all of its cultural and national interests than before. Some others probably fall more in the split personality middle of those two extremes. Which type best describes how you are now? Cheers. Backpacking Dad. Sean. I remember your name on Twitter. Um, I, think, I think I'm probably split in the middle. Um, I feel... I'm definitely very Canadian mentality in many ways. I grew up there. I love Canada. Um, but I've been all my adult life since 17 years old in the States between New York and Los Angeles. So my adult kind of business mind is, is very American. Um, and I, I love living here. I'm married to an American. and um, So I think I'm probably both. I think I see the, the benefits and... Um, and challenges both, and uh, pretty lucky. I mean, they're two amazing countries. Were there any challenges for you as a Canadian breaking into the American entertainment scene? Um, and the follow-up question to that is, with U.S. productions heading up north to Canada over the last 10 to 15 years, do you think it's easier for Canadian actors and crew to get work? Um, I'm probably the wrong person to ask that question on because I started acting in the States. So I don't really know even much of the Canadian scene, um, unlike a lot of actors that started acting in Canada, either in Toronto or Vancouver or Montreal, which is I hear pretty much the only places that you can act there, um, from what I know. But I, I really don't know the challenges of a Canadian actor starting out acting there, um, because I started in the states and I'm hired, hired as a you know from here. The only the only benefit I see is is that sometimes. If the show or film is shooting in Canada, they get tax credits for having certain lead characters uh, that are Canadian or, or um, you know, but because I'm not a Canadian tax resident, they don't get all the benefits and that sort of thing. So um, I don't know all the ins and outs, but you'd probably do better asking Grace Park, uh, my co-star from Battlestar, because she started in Canada. A lot of the Vancouver actors that are on Battlestar started there, so they would be, be better to, to ask questions on that, because it sounds like you're interested in, in starting out or something, so um, sorry I can't help you too much. Is there another Acting Outlaws ride planned? The streaming videos of you and Katie were pretty entertaining. David Shatnoff Jr. Hi David, I know you. Um, we don't have another one planned right this minute. We wanted to get another one going for this summer, but we've had trouble with our scheduling. But we may do, you know, a, a smaller rides, and we'll just do some flip cam kind of fun video that we'll we'll post up. And yes, we'll have to do some more uh, streaming videos because those went over very well, and we had a lot of fun. Um, and thank you all for watching them. They're, they were uh, silly sometimes, but a lot of fun. Game of Thrones. Have you ever read this series or are you familiar with the HBO series set to premiere on April 17th? Follow-up question is, have you considered trying out for any of the as-yet uncast roles? Yes, I have. I am on the fourth book, A Feast for Crows. I think it's A Feast for Crows. Uh, I love the series. Madly crazy about the series um, of books. I actually, I found out about them because I auditioned for Cersei. Cersei? Cersei. Um, for the, the the Game of Thrones, and that's how I loved the script, and I didn't get the part, obviously, I <laughs> uh, went to Lena Headley, uh, but from that I went out and got the books, because I thought the script was so great that I went out and got the books, and um, they're very dense, and you know, I get sidelined from others from reading scripts and things, but they're just amazing, amazing books. 
So, yes, I would definitely try out again for some of the uncast roles. Finished the questions for today. Thank you all for sending them in. Uh, there were some great questions. And be sure to tune in on TrishaHuffer.com for the next installment of Ask Trisha. And you can continue to send your questions. We will compile them, and we will be doing more questions and answers in the future. So be sure to tune in, and thank you all again. Big, big, big.